Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center experts announced today the discovery of new variants of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Two News reporter Leah Williamson is live to break down their findings. Brooke, although it sounds alarming that the coronavirus is mutating, researchers say that it's not uncommon for viruses to do that, and it's not a cause for panic. Make sure that people don't overreact to these data. During a statewide conference call Wednesday, researchers explained their latest discoveries. One, a new variant with a mutation identical to the UK strain. Two, the evolution of another US strain with three other gene mutations not previously seen together in SARS-CoV-2. What we have found today and what we are sharing today is the identification of two new viral strains. What does that mean? According to Dr. Peter Moeller, this means the coronavirus is looking for ways to stay with us long term. The virus in this case is, is working to survive. The virus is working to look for a host where it can stick around. Because we're dealing with so many people across the world, the virus has figured out a way to, to, to be able to, to stick around and reproduce. Researchers say virus mutations are common, and right now they have no reason to believe these specific variants will make the current vaccines ineffective or cause reinfections in recovered COVID patients. We have no evidence that, that a single uh, mutation uh, could lead to uh, loss of, of natural resistance and reinfection. However, as the virus is changing, the, the risk changes as well. To date, we have no data that the vaccine will not be effective on these viral strains. And I wanna to continue to say that over and over. As of right now, the researchers tell me they have one person confirmed with the variant that's close to the UK strain, but at least 20 people have been confirmed to have the strain that has three mutations. These cannot be detected through a PCR test, at least as of right now, and they're going to continue to do research on it. So coming up on five on two, I asked some of your most pressing questions about these mutations and get answers from a local doctor. But for now, in Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, two news working for you.